Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making a delicious zucchini coffee cake. Grab a plate, cause it's the all free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm so glad you're here because today we're making another zucchini recipe because it is the height of zucchini season here. I'm still pulling zucchinis out of the garden every day. We've got some back there, even though I've already shredded some up for today's recipe. So zucchini coffee cake. It's great for a snack or you could even eat this for breakfast. So we're gonna jump right in. If you want a printable version of this recipe with all of the ingredient list, it'll be in the details below. So first we're gonna start with one and a half cups of rolled oats. And I'm just using my Nutribullet today, but any blender will work. It's really not that difficult to grind oats. And we're just gonna lightly grind them. We're not gonna grind them into a fine uh, powder flour like this buckwheat flour. It's gonna be a bit more grainy than that. So it only takes about 10 to 15 seconds in your blender. And I like to do that because I think when you use oat flour, if it's too finely ground, when you're making baked goods like this, like cakes or uh, uh, muffins or anything like that, I feel like the finely ground oats struggle to get done in the middle. You're still left with a bit of gumminess in the middle. So I like to just grind them up loosely. So put that in our bowl. We'll set this aside because we're gonna use that again. We've got one cup of buckwheat flour, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of coffee grounds. This is completely optional. I love all things coffee flavored, so I'm gonna use it in the batter. But you don't even have to use the coffee grounds if you don't like coffee or if you're avoiding caffeine. It's still a great cake without it. Half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're just gonna stir those together. And I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, there we go, set that aside. So here I have one and a half cups of shredded zucchini that I also, I just used a tea towel after you shred it, you put it in a tea towel and you just squeeze it out, squeeze all of that juice out, or your cake is not gonna get done in the middle. And I like to put that into the dry ingredients first and mix it around so that zucchini is all really well coated. I just feel like that gives it a little bit of extra chance for less moisture to come out of the zucchini and make it you know, a gummy type of cake. Okay, just make sure you get it all coated pretty well so it doesn't clump up. You don't want any big clumps of just zucchini in your cake. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna mix up our wet ingredients. We're gonna use that same Nutribullet container. This is one and a half cups of unsweetened soy milk or any plant milk that you choose a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one and three quarters cups of pitted dates. There we go, whoops, missed a couple. Now we're just gonna blend this up until the dates are completely pulverized. Today's show is brought to you in part by Compliment. As healthy as it is, did you know there are a handful of missing or hard to get nutrients from a plant-based diet? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why I take Complement Plus every day. Complement Plus contains the eight critical nutrients in dosages optimized specifically for plant-based eaters. Plus, they're completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use the code WFPB15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Now we're just going to pour that into the dry ingredients. Get all of that out there. And guess what, guys? I have a spatula today. <laughs> I never have that spatula available when I need it. Okay. There we go. Get all of that goodness out of there. We're just going to stir it together. And it is a very, very thick mixture. Kind of like, almost like a brownie mixture. So you just got to keep mixing until it's all really well coated. And then I have a 9x9 nine nine brownie pan that we're going to use. But we're going to line it with parchment paper. You can, you can just do it in the brownie pan, but it does stick to the sides a little bit. Not terribly bad. But if you want to cut out a nice piece of cake, uh, it's better to have it in the parchment. All right, there we go. So here's my brownie pan. And then I have my piece of parchment paper here. And as a tip from one of our viewers, uh, to get the parchment paper to fit in there really nicely, you just crumble that parchment paper really well, or crumple it. And you pull it out. And then you just form it down into your pan. And it does pretty well. Kind of, because this has got rounded corners in it, it works pretty well. There you go. See, it pretty much stays down in there. And then the weight of the zucchini cake will, will hold it down there even better. Okay. Now we're going to pour that in there. Yeah, it's nice and thick. And it feels this thick. It doesn't feel like cake batter, but that is on purpose because those zucchini have so much moisture in them. If, we, if it was like a cake batter and I added that much zucchini to it, that cake would never get done on the inside. It would be a goopy mess. There we go. And you just smooth the top down. And it doesn't have to be perfect on the top because we are going to add that crumbly, like, streusel topping to this. Okay. Now we're done with that. I'm going to grab my topping ingredients and then we'll come right back. Today's show is brought to you in part by Wellbean. Beans are an essential part of a whole food plant-based diet and should feature prominently in our daily menu. We love finding new and convenient ways to get our servings in. Wellbean is a tasty and wholesome way to get half a serving of beans in every bar. Wellbean bars are vegan and gluten-free with no preservatives and no added salt, sugar, or oil. Each bar is made only from an assortment of beans, fruits, nuts, and seeds. As a special deal for our viewers, follow the link in the description and use the code TRYWELLBEAN5 to save $5 off a variety pack on your first order because life is better with beans. All right, so I have a half a cup of rolled oats, half a cup of pitted dates, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're gonna use our Nutribullet again, but we're gonna just pulse it until it's the, the type of crumble that you want. So they're just little, you know, not like a, a flower, but a little bit bigger pieces than that. And I'll show you when this is done. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Yeah, it's just a crumbly mix. If you've ever had like a, just a crumble or a streusel topping, it's that size of crumble. 
And as an option, if you want to add uh, a little bit more of a rich flavor to it, you could always add about a quarter of a cup of walnuts to this. But I'm making this nut free for those out there that are nut free. Then we just sprinkle it over the top. So it looks really nice and pretty. Spread it out good. Okay, now we're headed to the oven. And like I said before, it's 350 degrees and we're gonna put it in for, we're gonna start at 45 minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, eBooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, everybody, it is out of the oven. Come on and take a look. Oh, and I wish you could smell this. It is so, the cinnamon is so, mm, it smells so good. So I ended up putting it in for five more minutes um, and you can do a test while it's in the oven if you just press the center and the sides and if it's an equal uh, firmness, then you're done. You can tell if the middle is still feels a lot softer than this, you wanna just put it in for a few more minutes. It doesn't really work to do the toothpick test so much because it is a very moist type of cake. So I'm gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. All right, time to dig in. It's still nice and warm and it smells so good. You can tell it's nice and soft. It's kind of a dense cake. So it's not gonna be like a light and fluffy type of coffee cake. This is more dense, but it's very filling. You have this nice crumbly top. Look at that. Oh, yum. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. And you just get a hint of that coffee flavor in there, but it's so warm and chewy and comforting. Mm. I just absolutely love this. But of course, I usually have a little cup of coffee with it too, even though there's coffee in it. it they just taste so good together. Be sure to give this video a like and click that subscribe button and I'll see you next week for another great recipe.